In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how this camera, the IP4MPWA Cube Camera, performs when you're using it on a Mac. I am using Catalina on a MacBook Pro that's an octa-core with about 32 gigs of RAM. So I've got plenty of resources there to pull it up. This is a Chrome browser, and I typed in the IP address of the camera. I pre-configured it to be on the network. I'm going to type in the password to enter the camera. The objective of this video is to show you that on Catalina, the web interface of most of our IP cameras works fine. You can log in and watch the cameras. And uh, there are certain functions that may be missing. Like, for example, this camera has two-way audio. I don't have that two-way audio functionality. And I also do not have the ability to draw a rectangle and zoom in on a particular area of interest. Those are only available when you're using an Internet Explorer ActiveX-based uh, interface or you're using our uh, CMS software. Using an HTML5 based browser such as this, uh, so that includes Firefox, Chrome, Safari, even Edge, you will not be able to do a certain functions like two-way audio on the IP cameras or digitally zoom in, and there's some others when you have an advanced PTZ camera. But if you're looking for just a web camera to watch, there are uh, there's always the ability to just watch the camera. There's also the ability to hear audio. So I'm going, going to uh, basically mute myself and just clap in the background. As you can hear that clap coming through, that's coming through the system audio. And uh, you can hear audio from the camera. So again, I cannot talk through this. If you had a Windows-based PC and you were using Internet Explorer, you could, or you're using our um, CMS software. The snapshot button and some others, keep in mind they all use JavaScript. If you look at the bottom left-hand side, you have to have JavaScript enabled in your browser for any of these to work. So using an Android browser or some other on your mobile phone is not going to work. You definitely need to use a uh, computer, or um, you can use our app on the mobile device like Android or iOS to be able to watch the cameras. And there are other functions in here like playback and such. If the camera has an SD card, you can play back video. Again, some of this might be deprecated because you're using an HTML5 based browser. And then there are other features that you can come in and toggle. You can alter the image settings. The configuration settings on the cameras are available for you to play around with uh, since they don't use a lot of H uh, ActiveX controls. But uh, in certain areas where if you have an IVS-based camera that's using smart detection, you'll have some issues drawing lines and stuff like that. For that reason, we recommend having Internet Explorer or a VM with Windows on it. The other thing is the uh, substream. If you want to alter your stream and watch the lower end stream, you can always click substream. Uh, under settings, you can go into, into video, and you can change the encoding. So if you want to improve what the substream looks like, you can alter it here or lower it down. This is basically the lower end stream that your mobile phone would pick, or if you have a very slow internet connection. If you're watching a lot of cameras together, you would use the substream. So again, this is now the main stream, and you can see how clear it is. This is all to serve as a demonstration of how clear the camera sees up close and how a uh, small font will impact uh, what IP cameras or any uh, HD camera will be able to see. In here, the bo these boxes are about uh, 8 inches away from the camera, and this is about a foot and a half. And you can see this one appears clear uh, almost, and then but here, the small font on the camera box doesn't appear very clear. You have to have a large enough font for it to be able to focus well or a uh, thick enough font for it to be able to see. So if you have a teeny tiny font and you're trying to pick it up, let's say from a prescription bottle and you have the camera even a foot away, it's not going to see it. You're going to need a camera with a very focal lens. And this font is appearing pretty well on a USPS flat rate priority. Um, well, this is there on purpose to show you what the camera, camera's ability are uh, in uh, seeing font. Uh, this is about uh, one foot and uh, seven inches away. I hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching.